Sugam project adapted this innovative method of recharge directly to the bore wells, particularly those dried up or yielding less water. Input test is done to decide the suitability of the bore well for recharge. Water table is measured and 5000 liters of water is poured into the bore well from a tanker. Bore well that absorbs the constant inflow of water are suitable for recharge. If the water overflows from the bore well, it is decided not suitable for recharge. A percolation pit is created in a systematic way around the selected bore well. A pit of 10 feet by 10 feet by 10 feet is dug with the help of an excavator. Vertical slits of 2 mm width and around 50 mm length are created like this on the casing pipe from bottom up to 6 feet height. Cement concrete bed is put to the bottom of the casing pipe for stability. Then boulders of this size are filled up to 6 feet height. Next layer of small stones and pebbles is put for one foot height. If the bowl well is for drinking water purpose, wood charcoal is spread for one foot height to avoid microbial contaminants entering the groundwater. If the bowl well is for agriculture usage, charcoal is not necessary. Then spread HDPE mesh of good quality. It stops sand, leaves and other bigger particles entering the lower filter layers. Otherwise, the layers get blocked in a season resulting in inefficient percolation. Put a layer of coarse sand on the mesh for one foot height. This completes the filtering arrangement for the inflow rainwater. Then a short wall is built around the pit to avoid collapse of soil. It also enables water to stand till it gets percolated. Rainwater flow is diverted to this recharge structure from surrounding area. Water entering this pit gets filtered through these layers. Clean water enters the bore well through the slits created on the casing pipe. Thus, rainwater is recharged directly to the underground aquifers. This system percolates water very fast and there is no chance for evaporation. Construction of this recharge structure costs around 30,000 rupees. To maintain the efficiency of percolation, replace the sand layer with new sand once in two to three years.